Welcome, race fans, for another episode of Pure Racing Pit Report. Is here on your NASCAR's official YouTube channel. I'd like to introduce to you your NASCAR's PR manager, Gianluca Guilia, who is again with me today. And we have some special news. Cool. And my name is Andre Wiegold. I'm an editor and the reporter for the NASCAR Wheel and Euro Series and the Inca reporter in the new Euronesca Esports Series 2021. Um, you can check out the first Race the Season opener on the YouTube channel as well. Together, we will bring you behind the scenes of Europe's official NASCAR series. And we have some special guests here today. We have some hot topics from the last couple of weeks to talk about two drivers changing team and the first round of the UNESCO esports series as i mentioned and we are going to start with our first guest they will share the 66 df1 racing chevrolet camaro we have here patrick lemary and simon pilat hello Hi. guys hello everyone <laughs> welcome race fans Returning oh, behind the wheel right. after a long time spent away from the cockpit, but not away from motorsport, Patrick Lemarie entered the, NASCAR Euro, the Euro NASCAR Pro Championship in 2020 and ran a partial schedule on the number six Euro NASCAR FJ car. In his first NASCAR wheel and Euro Series season, Patrick, who co founded the Feed Racing Academy with Jacques Villeneuve, collected two top tens in eight uh, rounds. Welcome, Patrick. Hi, everybody. Very happy to be with you guys. And then we have a very young talent. In his first season of car racing, Simon Pilat impressed with his potential at the wheel of the six car, and he also earned a top 10 finish in his first outing in the UNESCO Pro Championship at Grobnik. And he finished eighth in the UNESCO 2 with one top five and six top tens, and he grabbed his best results of the season at Valencia. Welcome, Simon. Hello, guys. Thank you for having me. <laughs> okay, guys, let's start with the breaking news. Uh, you have a new home for 2021, DF1 Racing. How did it happen? Well, um, first of all, we had a we had a plan. After after being for 15 years on my couch, I had a call from from Jack. Uh, it was it was you know 14 months ago. He said, "Hey, you have to race again, man. You're you're in a couch. In, you know you're busy with speed racing, but you have to race." I said, "Well." No, you know it's not for me. I don't want to race anymore. And and we had um we had a great run with with Simon at the Feed Racing uh, Academy and 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 I said okay, well you know I think it's pretty good. It's pretty good experience for a young driver, very talented to to race with with me. And so it started like that. And um and we spoke with uh with Dario and Vic Motorsport, and we we we, we were expecting to do um uh. A good partnership, but the problem is we had the COVID, and the COVID it was really, really complicated for everybody. Uh, for us, you know, mainly because it was very difficult for Feed Racing Academy to survive at the, and it was we we are a startup, two years old, and we got the COVID and all the problem we goes with it. And in the same time, you know, the team had a problem with the sponsor, so everything was so good on the paper, but the COVID, you know, just broke a little bit everything. But we had a good season. We had a good run. Simon did an unbelievable job. It was it was very fast at every race, and we had a good run. But we could have keep going. But that's life. And sometimes it's good on the paper. Everything is there. The team was amazing. You know, you know, big. They they won many races, many championships. So it was not a question of this. It was sometimes everything is good, and we go okay. That's gonna be a perfect thing for many years. And and you know something happened, and the COVID was really a pain. And he broke a little bit, a little bit everything, and uh, so we had to make, made, make a decision quickly because um, Simon he needs to win the championship this year, and and I wanted to be sure that uh, we could sign early, and um, and DF one make us a good proposal, and 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 here we go. Simon, no pressure on you. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> What's the feeling entering 2021 with the new team? Well, um, I already talked to uh, DF1 uh, last year, and uh, the, I really appreciate the the, um, the 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 ambience in the team, and uh, the team was very um, very nice to me, even though uh, I was with Fitvik at the time. And so um, I, re I I took the opportunity to to be with them this year, and uh, I hope that uh, we will win the championship with them. <laughs> 
Well, for sure, uh, that that the, those are good good goals for 2021. Uh, but let's look uh, let's look back a little bit uh, to 2020. Uh, despite all the difficulties with COVID and and all the things we went through, just to put together a season, what were the highest moments of uh, 2020 for you guys? Who wants to go first? I'm on go. What is you? <laughs> well, I mean, for me, every race was kind of special, like the first one, because it was my first ever race in Euro NASCAR or in, in a car race. Um, so it was pretty special. Uh, and, and then I, I qualified second. So it was quite like, I, I was a bit surprised. And then um, I remember Zolder uh, it was pretty special also because it was the, the first time on the rain with the car. And uh, I, I just remember like, being behind a car and I couldn't see a thing. So it was really uh, special at that moment. And then uh, Valencia, where I had two, two podiums, uh, was also special for me and for the last race. So you had fun every race, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's but, good. Um, yeah, so every race was special for me last year, honestly. I think I think what is, uh, me, it was it was a little bit like, Okay, I'm gonna go there, have some fun, be with Jack, have some beers, um, you know, have a good run with Simon. But as soon as I, I put my my butt in a car, it was you know my all, you know, everything came back to me. You know, I wanted to race, I wanted to perform, and and but it was great fun because I really really enjoyed the, the driving the car. Uh, the car is very challenging, it's very very well balanced, very professional. Uh, no, you know, just just a driver and his car that I really really enjoy that. And and when Jack told me you're gonna you see you're gonna have fun, I said, well, we'll see. Mainly, I'm coming, you know, to help Simon. We're gonna have fun together. But now I want, I was like, you know, I want to race. I want to I want to win. I want I want to work. I want I was like get back to my old racing passion. And it was that's why I enjoy so much to be part of the championship because the car was was such amazing to drive. And but. And I like the association with a uh, with a young driver. You know, is 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 um I'm I'm very focused on my my feed racing academy with Jack. We're spending a lot of time there, and and it's part of, it's part of having a a young driver, very talented, who's coming from our academy and drive with them every weekend. That's for me is the main uh, excitement. And 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 I have to say, and is is um to be with a young driver like Simon is. It's really enjoyable. The car is amazing. The champion is amazing. But all together makes me then I want to race forever now. <laughs> looks like looks like you pick you pick your appetite back up. <laughs> yeah, really. You know, I was like it was it was not that far away, but I thought it was it was really far away. But it was not. It was it was right there. So um, um, I said, well, okay. I, the first race, I said, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna take it easy and I'm. But no, you can. You know, you want. You want. You want to fight anyway. So, but but I have to say that then then sharing the car with Simon is really enjoyable. It it is is really part of me being in a series as well. All right. So, what's the next step? You said you have your appetite back, and what are your goals for the 2021 season with a new team now with the experience you have in the car? And you've already mentioned. I have two questions. Um, one talented guy coming from the Feed Academy to uh, Euronesca. Are there going to be more talents coming to the series? So those are my two questions for you. Well, first, uh, I want to win every races. So I'm back in. So I'm going to be dangerous this year. And and the second is, uh, no, seriously, we, I'm, I, I'm going to do it very seriously. And I want to I wanna perform. I want to have fun. And I really want to help. Um, Simon to 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 set up the car properly to to bring it because he's super fast he's super talented uh, and he need that second year to be uh, really performing and 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 get confidence and and I'm sure he will because he's very very talented so it, but my 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 task as well you know I want I want to give him everything I know and and making stronger this year so that's that's a part of at least I can answer the second question without it because it's, it's part of the academy, it's part of Feed Academy, and 
we 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 hope in in the very near future then we can have more like like uh, simon because we we really believe then with jack then then nascar is very very good um how do you say uh experience to to for a driver especially for a young driver because we the car is not easy to drive the level the level is very high and um, and you have to be really you know have a certain talent to understand quickly uh how the car is working you know you you, you break footing the, the the gearbox is not that easy so the the kids who who come the young driver who come can can be performing very quickly in this kind of cars it, it that shows a, a, a very very good talent and that's what is happening with with, with simon and we hope we could bring more driver to the series in, in the near near future. Yeah. Simon, your uh, your 2020 season started with a, a little bit of a um, difficult situation with a few retirements, and yes. I, I remember you were quite upset in the paddock, and we were all telling you, "Be, be patient, it will come, it will be your turn," and then, well. It happened. Did you expect to be fighting for the top spots by the end of the year? Well, like, like you said, the the year didn't started like really well. But then, further, I got more experience for the starts and uh, and the overtakes, and so I really tried to put what I learned on the track, and uh, that's how I managed to this time stay on track <laughs> and um, to get bring back results for the team and. Uh, Yes, I, I, I hoped that I was doing my best to get gain some spots that I lost in the beginning of the season. And uh, I was happy to finish uh, eighth of the championship at the end of the year. All right. Um, we have one question we always ask here in this format, and that's the next one. Um, We've seen you both racing on the live stream. We have seen some uh, social media stuff, but there's always one funny or interesting or entertaining story you had experienced in the 2020 season on or off track. So when you think about the last season, what is the most funniest or interesting story you have in mind? Nobody knows about because we haven't seen it on the live streaming or on social media yet. Well, for me, it's definitely the first race huh? because... Uh... It was it was 60 or 70 degrees in the car and 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 jerome told us and we have to do two races in the same day i said <laughs> i look at jack we were in a, we were in the truck i said i'm not gonna make it man <laughs> yeah i'm too old you know i haven't trained for 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 ages what yeah I, I was looking at outside it was like terrible degrees i said jack i'm i'm, I'm first lap i'm gonna go in the gravels and stop the car because i won't be able to make it and well, I did, but the very, the very funny story. And uh, after the the checkered flag of the the second race, it was maybe seventy degrees in the car. I was like suffocating, and I tried to to get a, a drink, and <laughs> and I I was like, oh, finally, I, I, I because I was fighting with with those crazy drivers. I was like, I had no rest, and I no no time to drink. And say after the checkered flag, I said, oh, now I'm gonna have time to drink. And when I put the water in my mouth, it was like bowling. It was 70 degrees. I almost burned my mouth. It was like, it was crazy. It was like, it was terrible. It was so funny. I was like, oh no, I can't even drink. And I was suffocating. I was dead. But it was very funny because I was waiting for so long to have that drink. <laughs> and I couldn't even test it because it was boiling. But it was crazy that day. But because I'm sure we had 70 degrees in the car. It was terrible. It was terrible. I said, no more, man, no more. I was I was waiting for Zolder who is uh, very impatient. <laughs> Simon, we have one uh, story I already know when you uh, borrowed the car of your sister. Um, yeah, do you have another have, story or is this story. one? I have a, so I did a joke uh, with the team. So so we had a group chat on, uh, on WhatsApp. And um, as you know, uh, Most was canceled and instead we went to Croatia. And um, so I write to the team, uh, all right, I arrive at the track. And uh, they were like, OK. And uh, I tell them that I arrive at Most just to, <laughs> to make a joke. And they're like, Most? No, that's not that's not the truck where we're racing. And I was like, 
No, the, everyone said it was at mouse, so I'm I'm here at the track. I'm waiting for you guys. <laughs> and so the, it started panicking, and then I was like, okay, no, no, I, I'm at Grubnik. Don't worry, don't worry. <laughs> so that, that was a, a fun joke know. to do with the team. <laughs> well, we had a funny one as well. A few years ago, if I remember correctly, a driver, I'm not going to mention his name, but a driver who, who was studying, preparing an exam, at the university when we called him and man what are you home studying uh we're waiting for you for practice really is it today yes <laughs> 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 and he took the car and drove 1000 kilometers uh well <laughs> yeah well, um it was not really me, can, you, can you show us can you show us that beautiful helmet you have behind you and explain oh, yeah. us What's the what's the the meaning behind it? Well, like obviously, I like colors, as you can see. <laughs> um, so I wanted to represent something like that could show like kind of the speed. Um, and so it's basically like droplets of of paint, and that moves back with the speed. Um, and then I also have like my logo. I don't know if you can see it. Um, in, uh, the painter is very patient. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I have my logo with the, the Belgian flag in the in a stopwatch uh, to also represent the the world of motorsport, and then my logo to to represent me, and then in the end also have my name. I found it pretty original with my uh, blood type and uh, the feed racing logo. Um, Good that, man. Was, that was uh, my idea of it when I made it. So I, I've had a lot of comments on it during the, the season, but um, good ones. People like it. <laughs> the good comments or bad yes, comments? Yes, good comments. No, <laughs> only good comments. <laughs> well, it was very funny because the first race at Vallelunga, it had a car, a, 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 I don't know, it was a, a racing car, but a very small very small racing car oh yes he had exactly the mem the same decoration of of uh, simon's helmet yes. i said what what is this car <laughs> it, it was it was his helmet with four wheels i said is that is that, is that you it was exactly <laughs> the same. It was crazy and i think our our uh, commentator mark Werrell also uh tied it with a found a connection with a with an art car i don't know if it was a BMW, I'm not sure, art car, uh, but I, I'm, I'm going to find it. It's on Facebook. Uh, he commented below uh, one of one of your posts, uh, I think. Yes, it's possible. I think I remember. Yes. And, yeah, uh, we're, we're going to ask Mark. Um, <laughs> so uh, you're not definitely not using that helmet in the virtual world on iRacing, but not yet. <laughs> But you did pretty well, huh? Uh, last Tuesday in the in the first round of the Euro NASCAR eSports series. Uh, so this is a question for you, but also for Patrick. Uh, how is it going, and how is it helping you uh, develop and 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 train and training for the new for the season? Well, um, I, I think it's going pretty well. Uh, last race, I had a a bit of a hard start, but then I I still managed to catch back and and finish sixth. So it was a good result. Um, I think the car is very difficult on uh, on i racing. Uh, the car is a lot of oversteer. So after lap one, it's just it's just about surviving. At least that was the case at Daytona. Um, but then, like I think it helps me because two of the tracks on the calendar this year I never been to, or no, three actually with uh, Must, and uh, two on them are on iRacing, so I think it will help me learn the track more easily. Um, and then, of course, it can help you uh, prepare for or maybe uh, help you to develop other techniques uh, that you can test without, you know, having the fear of crashing the car or or uh, taking your life away. Um, so I think don't that's don't the way the it can help me. For that's at least for my part. <laughs> well, me, me, I'm too old, man. I, I you know, I can't, I can't, <laughs> I still have, I still have a, 
uh, Xbox controller. I can, what can I do? You know, as it's impossible for me. So I leave I leave Simon to to train and and you know, yeah, I'll do what, I'll do what I can. But you know, it's it's fun to watch though. But you know, I can. I'm crushing and, too. And you see, I'm, I'm crushing too much. <laughs> And what we see uh, is that many, many sim racers and drivers, so th they tend to be uh, good on both sides. We have guys like Simon, like Alain Day, like Guillaume de Flandre, they, they are quick on both sides, so th that must be helping. Uh, how do you see the role of simulators in, in the future, Patrick? What I see Simon in the future? Uh, the the role of simulators like I racing. Uh, role of simulator. Well, we have we have we have a, a kind of a old vision with Jack about it. Um, for for example, with at, at at the academy, we don't use any data or simulator. We we like to be on a on a, you know, on the track and and listen the guy how he's braking and 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 develop his own feeling with the car. I think I think simulator can be can be can be useful. A little bit, you know, learning a new track, uh, doing some lab like that, and but he has, he will never replace the reality because you you when you are in a car you have that weird feeling then you 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 have to be careful of 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 not crashing the car for of course and and that feeling then you will never if you if you do a mistake you you in a reality you you don't press escape and do it again so. He has to. He, I think it's it's like everything. A little bit is good. Too much, I don't think. Uh, if you do too much, you 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 when you when you drive and when you be really performing driving, you're losing a little bit something. Uh, it's our point of view. It's maybe not the point of view, but and and the second hand, if you are like really a specialist of you know online thing. Uh, be careful because now teams are signing drivers just only to be working on a simulator and they will never see the track so uh that's why we have we have a um, we have a um, eraser at, at the academy but we want that we want to put them in the car very quickly because it, sometimes they're good but sometimes the G, they have a problem to see the last the last two three tenths where where's the feeling to go get the two last three tenths and that is your feeling and that you can have it only driving so it's it's good it's good to learn track it's good to do a little bit it's good to you know you you will you will come to the race so you do you do a hundred laps and you simulator and so you the track is back in your head and everything but it has to be in a part of your head and but when you're driving and when you're in a car it's a different story and to get those three tens what we see is they they're they, they can be quick and a good times but it's hard to get the last three tens because the last three tens is really the feelings and that feelings if you do too much simulator it's you're losing a little bit that that part that that's we that's why at the academy we we just we don't do this we just we want it we want to the driver mainly concern of driving braking using using you have the feeling with the car and after when you when you're racing you're getting into uh, uh you know you will work with data you will work with with different things and it will we will have time to do that but at academy we think especially for a young driver you really need to drive and have that feeling with the car and of course it's easier you you, you plug your computer you do many laps many laps many laps but be careful of um, um, having too many laps and, and losing a little bit that reality who makes the difference at the end. Thank you so much for that insights. Um, yeah, for the insights. Um, that's it for now. Thank you so much um, for your time today. Um, we will see you both in the DF1 Racing number 66 Chevrolet Camaro next year in the 2021 NASCAR Wheel Series. And we 
Simon, we will see each other on the virtual <laughs> track next week, Tuesday. Um, I will make sure to respect the blue flags when you're behind <laughs> me um, and to tell something very nice about you on the commentary uh, because I'm way too slow to catch up with you guys in front. So I'm still struggling to find the seconds. And But it's, it's great for me as a media guy, not a race car driver, to share the virtual track at least with you. And I'm really looking forward to it. The next race on the Brats, on at the Brats, Brands Hatch, yeah, Brands Hatch Indy track. Not easy. Yep. And <laughs> yeah, thank you so much for your time. We will. We are looking forward to see you in the in the new in the new team, the Austrian team, DF1 Racing. And for now, please follow us on social media and also visit yournasca.com for the latest updates and leave a comment below and subscribe to our channel to not miss any video in the future because there's more news coming up here on this channel. And of course, if you have any question, send us, uh, leave a comment, ask us by using the hashtag AskPRPR, your pure racing pit reporters. Thank you, Patrick, and thank you, Simon. Thank you. Thank you Bye.